It was a really long process. I actually submitted a proposal initially the semester before I got accepted and that one got denied. So it was really exciting to get one and I feel like it was just a testament to all the hard work that I had been putting in to actually receive the award. So I was really excited. So there was data collected by Dr. Johnson, who's my mentor um, on the basketball players, both women and man, male, male players. Um, and they're on the University of Nebraska Kearney basketball teams. So um, essentially the data is having each player do a jump, a counter movement jump um, with an arm swing versus without an arm swing. And we're looking at um, kind of what that affects and what technique might be best for players maybe wanting different things. Um, so we're in the process of doing our final analysis and data cleanup. Um, so I guess something interesting that we found is that for the female players, a lot of their strategies were affected. So things like um, their time to take off, their counter movement depth um, was affected by the arm swing while um, players on the male side were not affected by that. Um, so that's gonna be something we're gonna dig a little bit deeper into as we finish up our analysis. Um, but I've also just learned a lot about how to use some of the um, software such as SPSS to analyze the data. That's something I'd never done before. Um, so just having that background is really helpful and also just being able to present and kind of some practice presenting my research um, has been really helpful. So I'm ideally next year applying to doctorate of physical therapy programs and physical therapy is very evidence-based practice. Um, so I think having my toe dipped into some of the research and having a little bit behind the scenes knowledge of kind of what goes into everything will be really helpful um, as I continue my studies.